Alrighty, we are back. Slightly new setup here. Um, I just went and I tested out a couple of things against some of the zombies there. One of the ways which I like to test things out is um, I'll just come and I'll hit this display damage numbers and then that way the damage numbers pop up. Usually I have it off just because it's too distracting. Um, but then I'll just go right outside Tristram here and attack some zombies and look at the damage numbers as they float up. And one of the things I was not certain of, uh, I had, oops, I've had this one on for a while. Bone Spear, uh, as well as those other two, have a 30% chance to trap enemies in a bone prison. And one of the things I was not certain of, I kind of thought it was, was whether or not that would trigger the triple damage from Crispin's sentence. Uh, enemies that are being affected by control impairing other than slow uh, take triple the bonus damage. I wasn't sure if that triggered that. Well, I went outside Tristram and attacked a zombie looking at the damage numbers with and without this bone prison. And sure enough, it works. So an enemy trapped by bone prison is going to take triple damage. Of course, though, if it's got like juggernaut to where it isn't going to be affected by any control impairing thing, which I believe that's what juggernaut does, then obviously this would not work. But yeah, I'm gonna be, so I've got that set up. The other thing I also tested, I had my helper there wielding this executioner. I was hoping that she would gain the benefits from that. But I went outside, attacked a zombie, and I got it down, which it was definitely way below 9% of its health. She was attacking it, uh, and but was not killing it. So this whole time she's been using the executioner, hasn't been doing any good whatsoever, other than the fact that it's lightning based. So I switched her over. This is the weapon I normally have her use. Um, there's a chance on hit to blast enemies with lightning damage. Jumps to up to five targets. Um, so their attack speed, movement speed are reduced by 30%. But more importantly, it triggers... Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. She's had the wrong ring on this whole time, too. Big dummy. It would be a tracking, uh, uh, triggering weird word had she been wearing it that whole time. <laughs> okay, so this should help out. When I'm doing farming, I give her unity. Uh, I'm not farming at the moment, so she should not be wearing unity. Okay, so that could have a big thing, too. She has not been stunning anyone. Okay, weird word. When she hits with a lightning damage... 34% chance to stun the enemies. Really good for me defensively, really good for me offensively, because that also triggers triple damage from Crispin's sentence. Well, anyways, now that she's using Thunder Fury, there's going to be a lot more stunning going on than if she was just using the uh, Executioner, which I had changed over to, uh, to Lightning Damage. But I don't know, for some reason I thought that she had... I thought that I saw her killing things with that 9% damage, 9% uh, health or less slaying enemies instantly, but I guess not. And finally, the other thing I guess I was not taking uh, advantage of was that I've got an extra life from my simulacrums. So, I had been using, normally I always use Final Service just to help save me from, from death. But my simulacrums do that. Because my simulacrums with this six piece set, um, they gain the effect of every rune. So, they gain all of them, including this self-sacrifice one. Uh, if I would die, 
instead of me dying, the simulacrum is destroyed. And I'm fully healed. So... I took off the final service. And I took off the this other one here. I don't think this was helping me out all that much. 2% essence and life per kill. I mean, that's not bad. I just don't think that was helping me all that much. Especially in a situation against a Rift Guardian or something like that, you know, where they're not summoning anyone up. Um, so I'm going to use this one. My curses cost 50% essence and last forever. I'm hoping that will do really good with my aura of frailty. So now when I go up to an enemy and hit it at least once with the Aura of Frailty, I'm hoping that means that it's going to last forever. Not only that, but once again, my Simulacrums gain every rune, so they also get this. So now anytime I hit someone with a curse, the enemy gets uh, all three curses. So they get, not only do they get frailty, but they also get leached, and they also get decrepified. And hopefully that means that now, I should be seeing everyone get cursed, and as long as I, they don't come within the aura of frailty, everyone will get cursed, and it will last forever. And I've also decided to use this one. 1% damage bonus for each enemy affected with one of my curses, so maybe that will mean maybe maybe an extra 10% di bonus damage. So I've just got to pay more attention to if I die or come close to dying and my simulacrum gets destroyed, I just gotta recast it. And maybe one other thing I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna take out this diamond. Put in a yellow gem. I'm thinking that the resource cost reduction might be more important than the extra extra one second that I'm getting for bone armor. I'm at the point now where I'm uh, losing a good amount of, of using a good amount of essence and not gaining much back from kills from my devour. I gained some from my devour but not much may even want to think about giving up Devour at some point. Alright, so this is going to give me 12.5% resource cost reduction. Stick that one in there for now. Actually, they say if you want something defensive, go with armor. Especially, that might be especially true with the stone gauntlets. Let's do that. Let's go with the... Let's see if I can 
can make a couple of armor based ones. Okay, I already got these. I'll use this one. Normally I would want yellow gems in here, but I'm, um, I don't have enough. And if I need to switch out some abilities that require topazes, I'm going to be in trouble there. All right. Uh, so toughness, 33. So my armor should go up 280. Okay, which should help out at least a little bit in that. Yes, my armor will go up, but also, you know, I've got, it's going to go up a lot more with the stone gauntlets, so I think that'll be good. And then we'll, uh, let's go with a ruby here. I will just do all these right now. Normally I might go with a diamond in there for resist all, but since I've got so many bonuses to armor with standalone and the stone gauntlets, I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost up my my armor instead. Um, let's uh, one, two, be nine of these. to make one of the biggest ones. All right, so I've lost some damage because I took away some of the yellow, one of the yellows, two of the yellows, but I've got resource cost reduction, 12.5%. Hopefully that will make up for it a little bit, but I boosted up my armor a good bit right there, so. Hope that makes it worth it. So, with all these changes, with all of these changes, I guess I'm gonna go try a level 100. Be nice if I just blast through it. I just feel like this set should be doing a lot of damage. I don't know. I think it just I just think it should be should be really good. Alright, uh, all right, I changed a bunch of stuff around. I just hope I put everything back. Aura, aura frailty. I had changed this over to bone spikes for just a moment. Okay, looks like everything's everything's good. All right, let's try level one hundred. Unleash your power, Ah! Oh, guys, instant death. Oh, come on! Get out of there! Those guys... Oh. Those guys reflect. All of my bone spears right back at me. Can't get out of it. 
that far. I really can't test it with those guys. They had to start it with them. Kill them out of spite now. Weakness consumes you. Oh! I almost wanted to kill him more out of spite than anything. Juggernaut figures. Oh. Very little I can do against Juggernaut. Aha, that's my fault. Those spinning guys aren't gonna help. They started me off with just about the toughest things that you, I could ask for. I miss you. Lost them again. I didn't attack with it. Over there. Still got a chance.
don't think the prophet would be pleased on this one. That needs to be Not very fair test. <laughs> Not a very fair test at all, I don't think. Oh, where is this elite? Be doing that much less damage. This has just been everything about this rift that could have been wrong for my character, my build happened. Started off with the stone slinger guys that reflect stuff. 
two shrines with whirling dorvis that reflect stuff so they just there's just no way for me to tell whether or not whether or not I'm, um, I've gained or lost. Let me try it again. And then there was that juggernaut guy in there. I hate to have a type of build where I have to like, let's say fish for a, a good map, a good rift, but. Well, <laughs> I'm not saying that this was the reason. I had taken these, I had taken a lot of that, those Paragon points off when I was testing some of the things that I was doing. I'm not saying that's the reason why, but that I, I just failed that so miserably, but definitely didn't help. Ugh. What other things... What other things did I change and not put back? Okay, obviously I died a couple times, so... That, uh... But I think... I think the couple times that I did die, it was from the Whirling Dwarvish or Reflection stuff. I think normally if I die, I will be okay. The Simulacrum will, will save me from permanent death. I'd like to think that this helped, but... One thing I could test, next time I get the Whirling Dwarvish guy, just don't target them and see if they'll reflect my bone spear uh, if I'm not actually targeting them. You know, if, if the bone spear just passes through them, will they still reflect it? I could, I could try that. Um Aura Aura the Thing I like about this devour is I don't have to actually do anything. You know, it's just on. Should I find some new attire? These old things are becoming so small. Wonder if Land of the Dead would be a better choice than Devour. At this point, Devour just doesn't seem to be helping out all that much. Blood rush. Eleven essence per corpse, that's really just not all that much. When doing speed rifting, it's not bad. But against the uh, 
with these high level rifts, I just don't think it's helping out at all. Let me try another level 100 greater rift, just because I don't think that that was a very good test last time. I mean, you get three, three of my, actually four of my nemesis, nemesis guys there, all ganging up on me. Half of my paragon points weren't active, so I didn't have any. You know, my cooldown reduction, critical hit chance, resource cost reduction, a lot of that was not active. Life per hit, area damage, so. Hoping, hoping this didn't help me t hurt me too much. It should help me. It should it should give me more defense. I should have everything else all set. The Grim Sith Bone Spear. Give it another try. Level 100. Um, I'm confident I can do it. <laughs> I'm gonna empower. Here we go. Luck, hero. Juggernaut! Why not? Kill this guy, I gotta get.
life cycle. Give it more time. Juggernaut! Why not? Oh, come on! I haven't seen these guys at all. That needs to reach out. Oh! I can't believe it. Wow. I swear I have I have not seen those big stone slinger guys. Not once. Not once since I've been playing this season. And all of a sudden I get them like two times in a row. <laughs> Ugh. I don't want to fish for a good rift, but that's just horrible. Not only that, but I forgot to repair my stuff. That's just, oh, that's just horrible. I mean, you know, once in a great while to see those, those guys. And, and five, and there's five of them. Both times there were five of them. There's no way I can kill five of them without, without me, me dying. All right, I will be right back, and we'll try it again. Be right back. 